One meter of warped wood sits in my shop. A two by two inch furring strip, light tan with a few dark knots. Imperfection is natural in the world of lumber. No two boards are ever the same. Intricate fingerprints bleed through the grain. If nature's beautiful inconsistencies weren't enough, sawmills plant their own intentional contradictions. As any woodworker quickly learns, two by two is never really two inches on either side. It's really one and a half by one and a half, but that's harder to say, so we don't say it. In this world of hobbyists and professionals, of dovetails and finger joints that concern us with thousands of an inch, we round up our language to make it easy on our tongues and gentle on our ears, though it forces constant conversions in our minds. The grain on this piece ran straight and smooth before the uneven drying of moisture inside contorted the ribbon cut into an awkward curve that runs its entire length. Not the steady curve of a parenthesis, but the crooked smile of a November jack-o'-lantern. This thin, gentle swirl of wood is a scrap from a project, a piece of lumber that didn't make the cut. It never tasted the carbon steel of screws, nor bore the weight of painted walls as its brothers do now, providing shelter for a dog when raindrops fall. This scrap remains in the shop. It sits near the window, twisting in the sun, too warped to put to use, too beautiful to throw away.